Oh, there he is. This bone. I oh, mean, I'm hoping it's a bonefish. Yep. Ah. Our bait is down. Our oh, bait is we down. Gotta hit. We got to hit. Oh, boy. What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here. I got Pops right here with me and we got the Kaku kayaks that I loaded up yesterday. We got the Voodoo and the Zulu. We got the Gator coolers. And this is a new area that I'm exploring uh, with these kayaks. Uh, super excited to get out there. The weather is absolutely beautiful. Um, it is pretty early in the morning, so hopefully we don't have any thunderstorms rolling in. But check this guy out right here in his little John boat. Check out the rig he used to get here though. He's got a golf cart and a trailer. I absolutely love that. So right now we're gonna go ahead and put the chairs on the kayaks. These are kind of like kayak slash paddleboard hybrids. They do have a raised deck, so they're super stable. We're gonna go ahead and put these chairs on there. I have some rod holders. And we got the paddles. We have this cool GoPro mount I'm gonna put on there as well. We're gonna throw a couple lures. I brought a little burner, so I'm gonna make some scallop wraps with some scallops that I had in my freezer. And uh, yep, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on time-lapse and we're gonna get to rolling and get to paddling. It is a hot day out here right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit these docks first, uh, throw some lures that I brought. Oh, look, there's little tiny bait fish in the water right there. So I'm on the Voodoo uh, Kaku kayak right now, and that's the Zulu. The Zulu is a little bit more stable in my opinion, uh, just because it does dip in right there. So you have a little bit of a lip to work with. Uh, this one's more of a paddleboard style, also very stable as well. You got a cool Barracuda uh, sea deck right here. So this is my first official time taking them out, making a video. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I met up with Kevin, the owner of Kaku Kayaks, and we took him out for a spin. I actually brought Finley, and it was his first time ever on a kayak. He did kind of slip off the bow of the kayak a couple times but because it's slippery on the edge so he put his paws on the edge and he did boop, slip right in I drag him back up on the kayak but after two times he learned and he absolutely loves it but since I'm going fishing today um, I'm leaving for San Diego in a couple days um, it's just a little too much to deal with him uh, right now with fishing rods and everything like that so me and my pops are gonna take him out for a stroll throw some lures see if we can't catch something and then come back and cook, but whew, it's hot one out here. Oh boy. So I've been casting at the docks a few times, came over here, casted near the mangroves, no luck so far. Um, I'm just using 30 pound Beyond Braid with 30 pound um, Beyond Braid also makes leader as well. Uh, I got just like a little paper clip swivel, no live bait needed with an FJ knot. I might catch a, a me. I got a big bait for a big snook, so we'll see. Go big or go home, right? My dad is all the way over there. I'm trying to catch up to him, <laughs> but he's not. I gave him a fishing rod, but he's not fishing. He's just paddling away. I just crossed the channel right here. We put in right over there on that beach. 
We got, what is that, Towboat USA? All right, I better move before I end up in these mangroves. Whoa, look, a plank. There's definitely mullet right up here in front of me. So right now the tide's coming in. Um, so it's pretty low still. I want to make my way through these mangroves and oh, something big just crashed behind me. I don't know if you, all, you guys just heard that, but I'm going to turn around. <laughs> My dad's in ankle deep water, water right now and he's like, this thing's still floating. Right behind me, huge, huge bus. Something was hitting on a bunch of mullet back there. So I'm gonna spin around and go cast over there. I ain't gonna lie. I have kind of like a heavy duty setup right here as for my paddle tail and hook. But my original plan was to go to Fort Pierce and fish more like the inlet. Um, but my girlfriend who was originally going with me didn't wake up this morning, so I had to wait an hour, still didn't wake up, so I ended up going a little bit more local in Stewart instead, <clears throat> just so I didn't get caught in thunderstorms later on. So, normally back here in the mangroves, I'd prefer like a smaller paddle tail, but I was already packed up and I'm staying at my mom's for a couple nights just to watch my grandparents. So, I didn't have everything I needed with me. So we're just making do with what I got. Oh yeah, perfect cast, right on the point. Come on. So like I said, the, uh, the tide's coming in right now, so it's slowly starting to push around this corner right here. That's why all that bait just busted. Something chased it. Probably a smaller snook or a small jack crevel. All right, I'm gonna make a few more casts on this point right here. But while I do that, I wanna take it back to Belize and show you some footage that I got that I couldn't make a whole video with. So I'm gonna show you guys it right now. Just, you know, some of the restaurants that we ate at and just the island itself. I also caught a little bonefish, which was super cool. I haven't caught a bonefish in like three years. Uh, so that was really cool too. So I'm gonna throw it back to Belize and show you some of that footage. And then I'll meet y'all back on the Kaku kayaks. We are here at the Remax Belize real estate office. We got our same crew as yesterday when we went spearfishing and snorkeling um, on the island here off of Belize. We got Dusty, we got Shelby, we got Maddie, and we got Lelo. How are you guys doing? Good, good, thank you. What's your name? I'm Angel, by the way. Angel? What's up, Angel? We got the Seymour map koozie on my coffee right here. So we're gonna go on the same boat as yesterday and we're gonna go flats fishing. Target some mangrove snappers, some permit, hopefully some bonefish and tarpon as well. You never know uh, what you're gonna catch when we get out there. But this is our second fun day out here in Belize. Uh, the next couple days will be like hardcore tournament fishing. So it'll be like, you know, game face is on, uh, getting on the boat. All right, it is hot out here. So I keep all of my camera gear in this soft cooler from Gator Coolers. As you can see right here. Now this is the uh, 25. It's a little bit of the bigger one just because I want to put like some towels and extra stuff in here. But it's got a bunch of extra pockets, gadgets, gizmos. I have my Gator Cooler tumbler there and it keeps everything safe, dry, cushioned and probably a little bit air conditioning in there since it's a cooler. Uh, but you guys can use my promo code Island Key to save 10% off Gator coolers. They also have hard coolers that you can personalize. Um, and you can also personalize the top of the pad as well on the coolers. Check that out in the link in the description below this video. Right now, we're just waiting on Captain Chris. Where's Chris at? Sleeping. Sleeping? 
Captain Chris went out last night. I guess it was ladies night last night on the island, so he'll probably be strolling up here any minute now. But want to catch a video of him sleeping? Oh yes, where is he? He's at the back following me. Yes. He's gonna love it. Is he taking a nap? Oh, oh man! Chris, we are gonna catch you sleeping. <laughs> Dang, look at you repping Pelagic for us. So in the tournament that we're fishing the next two days, our main sponsors are Marlin Magazine, we got Pelagic Gear, we got Bucked Up Energy, and Viking Yachts. So huge thank you to our sponsors for the fishing tournament. Right now we're gonna get our stuff together and hopefully go catch some fish. There we go, that's a bonefish. Yep. Just take your time. This bone, I, I mean, I'm hoping it's a bonefish. Yep. Kind of. Bone yep, that's a bonefish right there. There he is. See him? Yep. Let's get him closer. If he goes, if he goes right, he puts your right, right, I mean left, right? <laughs> you want to grab him or you want me to flip yes. him in here? No, no, I'll, I'll grab him. All right, he's right here. Look at him. Hey Dusty, hold this real quick. Yep. Still has energy. Look how cute he is. He's so cute. Oh, they're super slippery too. I'm just going to Here we go. First bone fish in the boat. How cute is that? You want to unhook it? Yeah, you can go ahead and unhook it. There we go. Oh. There is the first one that out of the boat. <laughs> yeah, super, super, super. Let's get in the sunlight right here. Super slippery and slimy fish here, but they got a big old mouth for their skinny little bellies. Let's go ahead and release this guy over here. There's a manatee right in front of my dad right now, making that big wake. He's coming this way. <clears throat> He's in some shallow, shallow water. My dad's a YouTuber over there. He's got my other GoPro filming. Look at him go. There he is. There's a bat coming out of the water. Dang, he's cruising. It never fails. I feel like every time... Oh, there he is. He's just hanging out right there. Why is he just staying there? Hi. Oh, you see his scars on the back, the white marks. He's right here. He just wanted to say hi to the Kelly Young fans on YouTube. That was super cool. I knew we were gonna see a manatee today. Every time I'm on a kayak, every time I always see manatees. So there's actually two manatees. Um, the one that we were seeing is right behind me. That's the one I just stuck the GoPro down and got underwater footage of. And then my dad said he just saw one, another one near him. Maybe it's the, uh, maybe it's the baby and the mom. Oh, they're just hanging out. There's a guy with a little boat. Huh? Guy with a little boat and a golf cart. Yeah, he had a couple of crab traps. feels so good. We just paddled up some strong current to get here to this tiny little beach. Pops is back there. You got this. <laughs> oh my goodness. In his defense, I'm a lot lighter, so I'm a lot easier to move on a kayak. <laughs> this water feels amazing. Land ho. Look at airplane. 
it's probably been about like three years since I've been to this little beach right here. And last time I was here, I was with my girlfriend Cheyenne and we were throwing these like watermelon paddle tails, watermelon split tails, soft, pl soft plastics, soft plastics with like a, I forget the color jig head, um, but we were slaying these small snook. And at the time I didn't realize it was actually a, a full grown different kind of snook. Um, I, always, I thought they were just baby snook. I'm like, baby snook, baby snook. And little did I know they were, uh, I think it's called a fat snook or sword spine. But they only get to be like this big. And we kept catching them one after the other and it was so cool. Um, but in the whole video, I'm like, it's a baby snook. <laughs> so, fun fact. It's been a while since I've been to this little area right here. This is actually a pretty sick walking stick. Yeah, a little frail, but... And you might be able to break it. In the younger days. <laughs> there we go. Now it's good. <laughs> so I casted my lure a few times and I got it stuck over there on the mangroves. Unfortunately, I had to go against the current and get it. That big old hook was not coming undone from over there in the mangrove roots. We should have filmed that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it, but I was just like, oh, let me just go get it. We had kayakers coming across and I'm like, I don't want to decapitate them. So I'm like, let's just get this line. But there's a lot, it's Sunday, so it is a weekend, but there's a lot of kayakers out here who kayak um, out in these mangroves over here in Stewart. Right behind me, there's a bunch of boats blowing through. I don't know if you guys can hear them, but that's the St. Lucie Inlet. So that's the inlet that you go out of if you come out of Stewart here on the east side of Florida. That guy's probably snook fishing right there. So normally a bunch of snook are always in this area. Um, I think because it is summertime, they're probably stacked up a little bit more towards the mouth of the inlet. Uh, but consider it being the weekend, there's just way too many boats running and gunning. So. I ain't even gonna mess with that right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and cast a few more times. And then we're gonna go back to the beach and cook up some scallops that I had in my freezer and make them into yummy wraps because I didn't eat breakfast. I'm actually paddling fasted right now. If you guys don't know what fasted is, it means if you don't, you don't eat anything. <laughs> so it's about 12 o'clock right now. And yeah, so that's kind of our little adventure this morning. We saw a manatee. I'm gonna keep casting and then we're gonna get to cooking. So I'm excited, it's a beautiful day. my little nifty uh, one burner here. I haven't used it yet. I bought it because I'm just like, you know what, this is going to come in handy one day and it sure is. I just have a cast iron skillet here. I went ahead and prepped some onion and some peppers. We have some scallions and we have store-bought jumbo scallops. I wish I would have went scalloping this season. I still have a couple weeks left but I'm planning to go spearfish bluefin tuna up in San Diego next week so I might be able to squeeze it in, I might not. What? 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 <laughs> Dude, you just put that right in his eyeball. <laughs> hey, are you on? Yeah! Double up! We got some tortillas, some lime, some bean sprouts because they just looked kind of good at the grocery store and I feel like they'd go well on a wrap. We got a little bit of Dano seasoning and some olive oil. I'm going to go ahead and put these peppers and onions in here. 
Now, while these veggies are cooking, I want to take it back to probably how long ago do you think that was, Dad? In the Keys. Oh, the Shark Week? Yeah. That was probably like six, six, six seven years, years ago. ago yeah. So it's lobster season, and for those of you that lobster, usually one person gets dragged behind the boat and the boat goes slow, and you look for lobster holes and ledges, and then when you see something cool, you dive down and check it out. Uh, if it's shallow enough, you dive down, check it out, there's nothing there, you come back up and grab the rope and just keep on going. Well, this was before I started YouTube. And my dad and brother think they're hilarious on the boat. So they actually, it's actually pretty funny, I love it. Yeah, don't give it away. I'm not, I'm not. But they make a little skit about Shark Week and using me for shark bait. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll that right now. It's pretty funny. And the camera's also super zoomed in and they don't even know it. It's just your typical like dad and brother moment. Teasing on the sister. So watch that right now. These veggies are gonna cook and then we're gonna put the scallops on. We're out here at Island Marauder at the Channel 2 Bridge. A very well known spot for great white sharks. I'm here with Captain Glenn Young getting our coordinates ready. Glenn, what do you gotta say about this trip? Yep. It's prime season for great white sharks. We're trolling today. We have prime bait. We're all set up and ready. It's only a matter of time. Minutes. We got our bait out there. Our bait's about five foot eight, 130 pounds. A little extension on the on the, the uh, feet fins there, but dressed in all black today to attract them. Um, let, let me let me jig the line to make sure it's still still kicking. We're good. All right. Now it's just a waiting game. We'll expect about 30 minutes to see the blood hit the uh, the bait, and our bait is down. Our oh, bait is we down. We gotta hit. We gotta hit. Oh boy. Oh, oh there's oh, oh, it's, it's struggling. Oh. Uh oh, we got the motor going. We got them on. I haven't had scallops since last year. Scallop season. I'm super excited. I thought you guys would enjoy that shark clip in honor of Shark Week, which will probably be this week when I post this video. So that's kind of a coincidence right there. If you guys didn't know, before I started YouTube, uh, I worked on a shark diving boat for like five years. Probably the best job I ever had. I love YouTube, don't get me wrong, but when I came home from shark diving, I was off. I didn't have to worry about work. When you're a YouTuber, you worry about work 24 seven and then some. <laughs> Because you're always on the move, you're always creating content, you're always saying what's next, you're filming, you're editing, you're producing, you're acting. Just a whole lot goes into it that a lot of people don't know. Oh, they're they got blow up paddle boards and they're deflating them back there. So the cool thing about these Kaku kayaks is the seats come off as you guys can see here. I'll show you guys in a minute. Hold up. Let me just sprinkle these a little seasoning. So these parts right here, come over here. Oh, where did you put my seats? Back here, truck. All right, well, come here. <laughs> so there's rails on the sides of both of these kayaks here and get close. When you put the seat here, this little metal piece just folds right into this groove. And then this goes on the bottom of the seat. Uh, locks so right you can, in. yep, you just lock it right in, you screw it in. You can put two on each side. Really, personally, you probably only need one on each side, but if you move around a lot on the kayak, um, maybe just put two, but super sturdy. You can also put rod holders, cup holders, anything you want along the sides. The Zazu kayak, this orange one that I have, you can actually put a trolling motor on the front here. So this comes out, you can put a trolling motor here, which makes it super easy. You don't even have to paddle. You just putts around on a trolling motor. You can also put foot pedals, and then on the back here, which I haven't gotten it yet, you can put a power pole. So you put a lithium battery here, you'll have a remote while you're standing up or sitting down. And if you're fishing, especially, you can just power pull down and just stay in the same place because it'll anchor you. If you don't know what a power pole is, they have a couple different types. You'll see a lot on the bay boats that come down like this with a pole. But in this case, it'll just be the one pole that just goes up and down. So that's super sick too. There's a lot of things you can add to these kayaks to 
enhance your experience when you're fishing or when you're just out on the water in general. All right, the scallops are finished. Scallops really don't take as long to cook as you think. These are a little bit bigger, so I left them on a little bit longer. The Florida scallops that you normally get on the West Coast are pretty much like a fourth of this size. They're like this big. <laughs> so this is my dad's wrap and this is my wrap. My dad is a super, 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 super plain person, which kind of makes my job easy but hard at the same time. I did throw some bean sprouts on there because I'm like, you're getting something on the wrap other than scallops, a scallop wrap. Okay. <laughs> There's two boys out here with their dad and they have like this little rowboat and then they put a trolling motor on the front, but they're using it as a tiller with a lawn chair in it. It's actually pretty epic, not gonna lie. All right, I'll put some more scallops on yours. A little bit of sea salt. I always top any red meat or seafood with sea salt after it's done cooking. I think it brings out the flavor and then gives it a little crunch too. Ooh, that's too hot to pick up. No, the flies are coming. You're just gonna get a mouth full of scallops. How'd you like the uh, kayaks, Dad? Fantastic. Pretty stable? Very stable. The boat wakes came and no problem. Pretty good? Your scallop and your tortilla. Very good. <laughs> this hits a spot right here. But you guys, this video is coming to an end. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a positive comment below. More information on these kayaks will be in the description below this video. I do have a discount code on them as well. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. I'm going to be making a lot more videos on these kayaks, so you guys stay tuned. I really want to take them spearfishing as well. So right now, we will see you guys in the next one. Be sure to check out my Belize video before and after this video. We killed it in the Belize fishing tournament over there. We got third out of 40 boats. We held first for a long time, but people caught some blue marlin, so we got bumped down to third. But you guys, it was an epic time. Be sure to check out those videos. We'll see you guys later. See ya. Happy Shark Week. <laughs> Thanks for lunch.